Let's uh, replace the starter on this truck. It's a uh, 2003, 2003 Ford F-150 4.2 liters. 2003 Ford F-150, 4.2 liters. Vamos a cambiar la, la marcha. Ya le arreglamos el problema de los cables que se comieron las ratas, que no prendía. Y el cliente quiere arreglar, quiere cambiar la marcha. La marcha sigue trabajando, ya está muy usada, ¿verdad? pero todavía trabaja más o menos. Pero vamos a desconectar la batería primero. Sí, after we uh, fix the problem with the wiring that the rats did. They ate the cables, the wires. Now the customer wants to replace the starter. It, it's working, but uh, it's old. The starter is old, but it's working. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace the starter. Okay, so let's go down there, down here, to replace the starter. See, this is the hole where the rats enter to eat the wires ese está, es el agujero donde entraron las ratas en el otro video que tengo a ver si ya lo subí al youtube ok we have the starter here and we got a bolt right here and right here this starter is not so 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 difficult to remove it but it's it's got a it's got it it takes it takes a little bit of time to do it so we need to remove those bolts that one and, and that one see we need to remove it and then we're gonna take the 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 starter out down here and then we're gonna remove the wires the cables see Vamos a quitar los tornillos este y este de aquí y de ahí vamos a sacar la marcha y ya quitada la marcha y aquí quitamos los cables estos, ok? So let's do it. Vámonos. We have the starter right here. As you can see, I've show you already. Now let's remove this ground first. Vamos a quitar esta tierra primero. Y de ahí vamos a quitar el tornillo. Vamos a quitar el tornillo de arriba primero, ok. Y después es el primero que vamos a poner. Si, sí, we need to remove the, the top bolt first, and then that's the last the first we're gonna put el primero que vamos a quitar y el primero que vamos a poner ok right here And this is 13 es un 13 para quitar los tornillos de esta marcha Okay, this is not so not so so difficult. Okay, no es mucho muy difícil para quitar esta marcha. The rats ate this this uh, line. This is for the AC. to put uh, um, a hose or something to fix it. If not, it's gonna blow up from the, the air is gonna be blown for the defrost. Okay, so now let's remove the lower one. Right there. Vamos quitando el de abajo, ya quitamos el tornillo de arriba. Let's 
hold the starter, wiggle it, vamos a detenerla y a moverla para poder sacar el tornillo de abajo. Okay. Now let's pull it out. Vamos a jalarla, sacarla para abajo. Y de ahí vamos a desconectar los cables. Estos están aquí y atrás. Okay. Let's remove these wires, these cables, right here. It's the number 10. And I think it's the 12 or the 13. Vamos a quitar estos. Check the position of these wires. It's got the this one um, like the guide to guide where this one goes. Don't put it like like that because maybe it's gonna hit the engine on this part. It could. And this one check the position. We need to clean these terminals. We're gonna remove it and we need to clean them, sand them with, with something or with a brush. Clean them. So that one make good contact. This one to the ground. Vamos a quitarlo. Y vamos a limpiar las terminales. Okay. Y fíjense la posición, estaba diciendo, fíjense la posición, tiene unas guías donde entran como cuadro aquí, ¿verdad? Fíjense la posición, no lo pongan así, porque puede pegar aquí en el bloque del motor. Ok, now the thin to remove this one. This is the thin. Este es un 10, un poquito duro. Check this wire if it's good. See? Because that wire causes lots of problems. Lots of problems. Okay. Let's remove this one. All right. We got the starter off. Disconnected. Now let's get a let's get a sandpaper. Let's check this connector that it's well connected. Okay, it's good. So now let's uh, sand right here. This one, and this one, and this one. Vamos a lijarle ahí para que haga bien contacto. Vamos a traer la otra marcha, ok? Alright. Got the sandpaper right here. Vamos a lijarle aquí. Con esta lija. Más para que nos haga mejor contacto. No queremos problemas, ok? Right there. Now this one. Okay, they're good, they're clean. Now let's put the starter connected to these wires. Vamos a conectar esta marcha aquí en el alambrado. And this is the number, the port number. I get this one from AutoZone. Esta la, la trajeron de AutoZone. Esa es la, el número de parte, ok? En caso de que pregunten. Pero, ok. Let's connect these wires. Uh, remember the position of these wires. It's 
it's so important that you don't put these wires that on the wrong side because it they could they could hit the block or the engine right there don't over tight this this uh these wires too this cable no se pasen de de apretar este estas tuercas también porque aquí es plástico en esta parte y nada más está agarrado un pedacito aquí adentro del digamos del tornillo eso el borne verdad nada más está agarrado un pedacito ahí de, con el plástico so, si ustedes lo aprietan mucho pueden romper esta parte de plástico you could break this plastic part because the bolt this is not so thick right here is a real thin so don't over tight this one you don't want to break this part and then you're going you need to get an, a new another starter maybe they're not gonna give you a warranty because uh, you broke it see right there Maybe they, a lo mejor no les van a dar garantía por si rompen aquí esto, ¿verdad? So, tengan cuidado. Okay, right there we got the wire, the cables connected. Now let's push this one right here. Vamos a ponerlo aquí en su lugar. Y vamos a poner el tornillo de arriba primero. Okay. We need to put the upper bolt first. Right there. We need to push it. Careful with your eyes. If you can put uh, food safety goggles or safety glasses. I forgot mine. I got them in there. But, you know, we remember we need to put uh, the safety glasses when, when you're already doing the job. Okay, we got the top one on. Ya tenemos el tornillo de arriba. Puesto, vamos a poner el de aquí abajo. Right there. Like I said, it doesn't take too long to put this starter. Make sure it sits right inside. Wiggle it and try to and push and well turn the bolts. Wiggle the starter so the bolts you can drive the bolt all the way down. Okay. Muevan la marcha para que puedan uh, poner el tornillo hasta lo más adentro que puedan para enroscado. All right. Right there. Right there. Okay. Right there. Now let's put the ground. Vamos conectando la tierra. Ponerle su tuerconia. Y ya terminamos de poner la marcha de esta camioneta. 
Ahora nada más que funcione. ¿Sí? A veces no funcionan. Okay, we finished with this one. Let's see if it's if it's gonna work. Sometimes sometimes it doesn't. They are new, but it doesn't work. Okay, let's go out there. Vamos. Ya terminamos. Ya está lista la la starter, la estora motor de arranque ¿Sí? listo we finished ok let's see if the starter is going to work vamos a checar la marcha si sí, va a trabajar vamos a conectar aquí let's connect this one need to tie this one ok I'm going to start the engine I'm going to crank the engine Okay, it works. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and put a like. Ya acabamos. Pónganle un like a la, al video si les gustó. Suscríbanse. Y ya es todo. Lista la starter. Got it. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in Laguna Heights.